Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. We are jumping into Gears of War 2 again, picking up where we left off from our very, very odd experience in the uh, giant rock worm. Um, definitely an interesting part. A lot of weird things, um, but certainly the ending, kind of the last level, was really something weird. Um, I can't imagine how they came up with it, to be honest. Um, still a little bit confused as to why like of all things that's what they decided to do but i'm i'm here for it it was a wonderful level something very very different um and i'm excited to see what comes after it now so we are moving away from kind of the underground section it looks like we're getting out of the uh out of the locust stronghold and moving into um it didn't really say where some sort of facility it seemed like because we're looking for intel on um the locust queen which is kind of an interesting concept to throw in now but it, i guess it makes sense surely there's some sort of leader or something that spawned the locust um so it looks like we're kind of getting to the origins of them which is really interesting um kind of not sure where that's going to go story-wise but it's done really well so far with it in terms of the world building and stuff. So as long as it's, as it's an expansion of that, I'm okay with it because I think it's really good so far. So let's just jump into it. I hope no one believes in ghosts. And just like the last time we were in something like this, it was also dark and rainy and stormy and interesting. Yes. We'll keep you posted. Thankfully, I actually uh, still have the sniper rifle. I don't know how useful it will be um, inside, but. But if this place has answers, why would they be looking into it now? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, governments rarely do. Oh, right. Wretches, maybe. Couldn't tell. Um, a point of contention, apparently, was, uh, that this was just declassified. So, like, whatever this facility was, like, somebody knew about it. Um, and now they're just releasing the information? But that's so, that's so weird. Why, why hide it? I'm sure we will. Looks like some stranded might have been here. Smells like the plumbing's out. This place is a mess. Definitely does not work. <laughs> Control, this is Delta. Do you copy? Delta, this is Command. Do you have something to report? Uh, no. I'm trying to reach Control. Control is offline for now, Delta. You'll report directly to Command. Over. Roger that. Delta out. We're screwed. <laughs> well, so what is this business now? So, like, Hoffman's taking over for the operation because it's so super secret, or what? Welcome to Jameson Depot. Proper identification is required for entry. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but proper identification is required for entry. Good day. Jack, rip the store pronto. <laughs> Forget it, Jack. We're gonna have to blow this thing open. 
spare. Can you get a blast charge ready? Of course. Regular or extra strength? Extra strength. We'll recon until you're ready. Roger, boss man. Bear it out. Let's see if we can find some power. How nice of him. This is really weird though because it looks like a like a vault or a safe or something and it's like it wasn't particularly hidden in the institution. It's literally right next to the front door. I, all I had to do was turn a corner and walk down a hallway and it was right there. Not exactly hidden. Any whom. Yeah, definitely a spooky place. I don't know. But then the factory was like that in the last game, so... Oh yeah, that's definitely a wretch. Flamethrower, sweet. Think it still works? Never know till you try. Remember Carmine was always talking about fire? He would have loved that thing. Yeah. And burned our asses with it. <laughs> Rest in peace. Also probably true. Let's try this out. Well, it worked. Should we try that door again? No. It's not a power issue. It's clearance. Let's just get back to the centaur. Interesting. That's a lot more. Um, that's a lot more, like concentrated than I thought it would be. I'm kind of afraid of burning myself, though. I don't know what like the splash damage is on this thing. I'm coming, Dom. Um, I mean, it's fun. I don't think it's very good. I, yeah, well, I guess it would depend. It would depend on who I was... I'd have to try it on something that's not a wretch. The thing is, is like, it's, it's, it's the same thing I was talking about before. I'm not threatened by these things. Even, even though I don't think that's very good against it. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm tempted to just pick up the shotgun and just use that. Because honestly, like... This thing doesn't do enough damage to these things... To justify having it. Because, especially since I can just one-hit him with the melee anyway. So it's like, what's the what's the sense in that? I don't know. Is that all of them? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, see, Dom didn't bother with it. Yeah, I don't know. I... I'd have to try the flamethrower on something that's not a wretch, and I don't really feel compelled. It's a little bit disappointing. I don't know. I don't really want to stick with it, though. I think, honestly, I was having more fun with the sniper rifle, so. Don't, what's the word? 
some kind of security door we need to bypass. Bypass? You mean you're gonna blow that shit up? Exactly. Yep. It's all ready, Marcus. Just make sure you get your ass outside of the blast radius, and whatever you do, don't drop it. <laughs> gotcha. We'll let you know how it goes. Oh, we'll know. What the fuck is this? Man, if I knew extra strength was this heavy, I would have asked for regular. Okay, well, at least I had the sense to pick up the bull talk. I guess we'll see how that goes for me. Now, let's see. I think... Oh. Up, up. Oh, wait, this is even on the wretches, it's a two shot. What? Why would I bother with this? Why did they neuter the fucking bull talk? I don't get it. I guess Dom is shooting at him, so it's it's kind of a one shot, but he has to actually hit them first. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. How do we? Uh... This is kind of weird. I don't know like the direction, because like I gotta move with Dom, but like I don't know what way the guy is gonna go. Camera angle is kind of weird with it, too. Like, I don't I don't want to go that way. Like, we're going into the door there, but. Welcome back. Do you now have proper identification? Oh, yeah. I got some identification for you. <laughs> Access granted. Thank you. Carry on. Well, that worked. Okay. Gotta hand it to Baird. He does good work. Yeah, but don't tell him that, okay? Whoa. Definitely a different place back here. Welcome to the New Hope Research Facility. I'm Niles. Please, let me know if I can be of any assistance. Is that a recording? I think so. Actually, I'm not just a recording. What? Please, do come in. I'll tell you more about the facility. Okay. Looks like some kind of worker's quarters. Or internment camp. Man, this place just reeks of wrong. Our facility maintains the highest possible standards, I assure you. We take great pride in our work here. I'm sure you do. Command, this is... This is really copy. weird. This is creepy. It, this is like AI. We're in the facility, but it's got a few surprises. And I don't think it's abandoned. Well, it should be empty, Dollar. What do you see? Not seeing. Hearing. Some guys controlling the security systems. Hostile? Annoying. Sounds like you have it under control, Dollar. Keep us posted. Command out. Well, I guess there's that to consider as well. It could just be some prick sitting at a computer, but that's the thing is like, I thought the point of it was it was abandoned. Whoever's on the mic is like reacting to what we're saying. So it has to be some sort of intelligent being. It's not a recording. As you can see, we maintain the highest standards. 
sense of security at New Hope. After all, one can never have too much security. Yeah. This guy is way too calm. If there was somebody hiding out here this whole time. We take great pride in the cleanliness of our facility. Filth will not be tolerated. Dude, are you look you are you looking at the fucking room? This look at this. Stellar? You need to raise your standards. Dirt, cobwebs, fucking monsters. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is that? Excuse me, sir. Can I, can I trouble you for a revive? Thank you. Uh, great. Okay, so now he's running the guns. Or is he? Maybe these are automated too. Nah, these, yeah, these look more automated. Uh, okay, okay, it was just a joke, bro. Okay, well, you can run past him at least. Okay. So something... Something is making noise there. This is really... What is the... Okay, I guess not that way. No, another flamethrower, but that, that's the thing. I had this... It's the same problem I think I'm going to have, especially if... Um, okay. We'll see this this guy this guy in the freaking computer is all well he's he's like he sounds like he's all nice and welcoming like welcome to our facility and then he turns the guns on so maybe he doesn't want us here or what yeah Nice, clean place. Good standards. Yeah, dude, wretches are just so pathetic. kind of cool though it's almost like a puzzle Security system deactivated. oh okay so i have some control over it then Security, like cleanliness, is next to godliness. oh what what the fuck is it's like a fucking saw trap really is this guy for real <laughs> oh Um, well, if I can get to that button, maybe. Oh. Okay, interesting. So I got to keep an eye out for those then. There's, there's just, there's such a non-enemy, like, I just, I, I get why they would be here versus any other type of locust in the sense that, like, these are probably, like, you know, like, scavenger-type creatures, I don't know, like, they don't, 
they don't have the sense to like sit here and spring a trap on us or anything like that right but on the other hand they're just not like they're not difficult to fight i don't even have to think about it i wish they would have picked another time even even the tickers are they're more threatening than um than those in the sense that number one they explode you can't get too close and number two they move faster right a little more difficult to take out i raid you baird what's up coast is still clear but looks like this weather's taking a turn for the worse Roger that. We'll try to make this quick. Okay. Good empirical scientific research is the foundation of any civilized society. Security system to savages without it. Keeps dropping these fucking flamethrowers on me. I don't want that. Give me more. I want ammo for other things. Unfortunately. And I will say this, that the sniper rifle is not very useful here. Um... Oh! Oh! It's really determined, okay. Hey, see, he, hey, he's got the shotgun. How come he doesn't have the flamethrower if it's so fucking good? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. You think they kept POWs here? From the Pendulum Wars? Doubt it. This place is set up to keep people out. Well, they mentioned potential internment camps do let us know if you encounter any conditions that I don't understand why like I kind of agree that the intention I would think with all the security and shit it's not really about like keeping people here I don't see the sense in like you're gonna keep people and have them do labor or something and it's like why who cares right Storm. We'll get back there as soon as we can. Welcome. Out. Well, that's no good. That's no good at all. We're gonna have to split up. One of us needs to power down these turrets. Who gets powered down to? You or me? <laughs> Laser bait? See, this is what I don't understand. Like, why even bother having this? I'm gonna make fucking Dom be the laser bait. There's no reason to want to put myself in that position. These, these choices suck. They either lead to the same place at the end, or one of them is, is wildly better than the other one. I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay. The Get ready, laser bait. Getting in here. This security is insane. Oh, I assure you, our concept of security is quite safe. All right. It's one of the cornerstones of our fine society, after all. Along with proper hygiene, of course. Proper again. You, are you looking at the fucking room, brother? Sure you want to go through that routine again? <laughs> Proper access to the 
access will prevent unexpected and most unpleasant occurrences. I assure you. After all, we don't need you running around and plugging into random computer terminals. Do we now? I think that's exactly what we're gonna do, and we even have a little robot that can do that too. Are you getting this? Great. So they don't even know what's going on. Yeah, maybe. But I don't understand. They look... Let me see if I can zoom in here on that thing. It looks like a wretch from this perspective but that looks more like a humanoid kind of oh my god look at the fucking chompers on that thing holy shit okay great I, you know after the fucking giant ass worm Jack, though I, I don't know what, what I don't know if I'm Maybe one of these meant to be surprised or just like okay yeah, just more fucking monsters stuff. great is this is this me no Oh, that's nice. What did we just turn the power on to? Nice one, Jack. Save the ship. It's what they always say. In this case, we're truly doing it. Or at least, we're giving it our very best shot. What is this? Sounds like Niles. A little less wacko, though. Oh, is that what this guy's name is? During the night, in the snow, and Chairman McMahon won't even authorize the use of vehicles to transport the subjects. Subjects? Who's he talking about? Don't know. I will be moving behind a semi-sentient security system to walk over the facility. I would hate for anyone to disturb the sinner's rest. Okay, so it is kind of like an A. It's not. It's, the guy's not actually here. It was like an AI thing then. Oh, that's good to know. That's great. I tried to warn you. Now it appears you have awoken the sires. That could be very problematic. The sires. trying to get out should we keep trying to help them i don't think so what the you fuck do you think in. dom could be something contaminated worse what the fuck is going on here what the hell are these things Oh, fucking silly me. Of course, I knew I was forgetting something. The abstract. How could I be so foolish? Bring it. 
All these fucking things, I gotta fucking dismember them, I guess. Okay. I sh well, fuck, I should have kept the chainsaw then. Fucking. The genetic bridge to our future. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that one. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I can get a headshot off on him then. Well, the shotgun's not bad but it takes quite a few shots to take them down is that because they just like they you gotta <laughs> you gotta make them chunky Dom, you got the chainsaw. You take him out. That a boy. I just I shot his fucking hand off. There we go. Let me uh let me take a look at that. What do we got here? What do we got? Hey. Get your ass up. Chop his ass up, Dom. Let's go. Well, if you can manage to get the headshot, it seems to work, but it's it's doing that is the problem. Oh, that one worked, I guess, somehow. Okay. Get your ass up. Come on. There you go, beat his ass. There you go. Oh, 
some help here. Uh, one second. All right. Walk in hell. No, I did not. We're definitely not going back in there. If we've got a chance at shutting him down, I'm guessing this is it. Look around for a switch or a power supply. The system's getting nuttier by the second. There we go. Nighty night times. When we are fully cleansed and the truth comes forth, will we listen? Will we what the fuck is this thing yapping about? Man, glad that's over with. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. No, uh, no more, no more sires until I yeah, well, get myself a lancer. <laughs> <laughs> you need backup? No, just get back to the centaur. I think we've got what we needed. Uh, Razor Hail? Not so good for my life expectancy. Well, find a way, damn it. <laughs> oh, great. Now they've got him. What the hell are Locus doing here? <laughs> oh. There you go, toss it. You got him. Are you fucking stupid? Oh, well, here we go. I can get him with the... There we go. Uh-huh. You poor, poor fools. Oh, this guy that I'm carrying, he's looking a little worse for wear. If it, God, if the, if it was just a little bit better, if it was just a little bit more powerful, it, it does feel like it got a little bit nerfed though, this game. It's really unfortunate. It's such a fun weapon. I imagine this would look a lot more horrifying. Um, I, you know, in a way, it's kind of a shame. Maybe I shouldn't have played the remastered version of the first one. I don't know. I, it's not even like I think this is bad. It's it's not. It's just graphically, I'm envisioning so much more, like the potential of this of this game in a remaster, especially compared to the last one. Um, given that in general, I like these settings more. 
I'm just curious to see what they could come up with. And, uh, you know, that, that, that opportunity. Grinder, what? Interesting little ride here. What are you laughing at? The thing is, is you really actually do have to get a, a headshot with this thing. It's very good in that regard, which makes sense given that it's a sniper rifle. But, um, I gotta pace myself with it because if I'm not hitting that headshot, it's not even worth firing, honestly. Excuse me. Gotcha. Ah! There we go. Come on. Oh my god, I fucking missed that. We're moving around. There we go. Behind the barriers. Oh, okay. That's a neat little trick. Still there? It looks like it. Oh. 
There we go. I guess this is the way to go. Aha, fair enough. Oh, excuse you. Well, it wasn't a headshot. How the fuck did you beat me up here and you're coming down that way? Yeah, you know what? Whatever. Fine. It worked, didn't it? Ah. Well, this is kind of weird. Whether... I mean... It's not a bad idea. It's just the opportunities for cover are so linear and numerous that it's the same thing. I don't really feel like threatened by the presence of this hail. You know what I mean? Like if it was a, if it was more of a thing based off of like the enemies were pushing it, you into it, you had to make decisions or there were at least like multiple choices and multiple paths based off of you know the hail and what was available for cover these things would be more interesting but it's just like okay here's a giant section of cover and then there's a little bit where you're not covered and then another giant section where you're covered it's like it's i don't know why bother having it at all like i know i can make this Okay, now I have this huge ass area for cover. Oh, you want to put the fucking smack down? What is this? The mauler? Oh fuck, he's got a shield. Uh, okay, now this is better. Well, not really, because he just fell over. Okay, what was the sense in that? Um... All right, there we oh. Go. Regular old I was like... Weather. I was like psyching myself up to make the run here and then it just ended. Okay. Fine, I guess? Okay. Well, back to regular old shitty weather. Yep. Sure. Why not? All right. Now it's just back to the stormy the fucking, the well, I guess it was actually just Minor stormy. Damage, but I'll have it in a sure. Why not? That is, if we didn't have a reaver swarm 
What the f Does, does getting the guys at the top actually help at all? Obviously, it's still coming after me, so... Oh, oh, come on. God damn it. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I can give him some points for creativity, but the weather system was just like... It didn't... I don't know. It didn't really do anything. And then the one time I thought that there was an opportunity where I had to, like, haul ass, and the weather just went back to whatever it was, right? The hail stopped. I, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't get it. Okay, great. Okay. I should have figured. I should have figured as soon as it showed up. But I was like, you know what? No. In the last game, they went to the factory and you, they didn't. They didn't have anything vehicle-based after that. Now I know how they had one before it, but I was. I was like, okay, whatever. No. I can't escape it. Also, this thing is hard to drive because whatever direction you look to fire it is the way you're going. Yes. Yeah, the control scheme on this is really weird. I actually think that the other one from the last game might have been better. Now, granted, um, they have up here. Yeah, be going the, right way. the shooting mechanic for that was a little bit different because you couldn't move and shoot at the same time. Um, Even so, I don't think that this... Just because you can do that in this game, that it makes it any better, unfortunately. Um... Get the fuck out of my way. Really? Oh, okay. So you can kind of turn it a little bit. The ice is breaking. Hey, I can see that. Um, don't mind me. 
Okay, I guess I'm not going that way. Okay, I guess I'm not going that way either. Okay. Ah, fuck it. We're going for it. Okay, guess I'm going this way. I mean, it could have been worse. In fact, it still could be worse. I don't think it's going to throw another one based off of that dialogue, but... It gave you some warning with the mortars or whatever. Like, they came down, like, early enough where you could stop and stuff like that. That's good. Um, I could see myself having a lot of difficulty maneuvering that if it didn't. Um, because there was a couple times I was able to stop there, but, like, if you weren't able to do that, get the fuck out of my way. Um, yeah, I could see myself dying a couple times there. It just, the things that they introduce in these fucking sections, I just don't understand it. I... Damn it. Yeah, see, there you go. You can't... The, the turning on it is really weird like that. Yeah, okay, let's see how this goes. Huh. Yes. That's very convenient that it's elevated in just such a way. Reaver! 
Okay, well, at least this is plenty powerful, too. Good. I don't know. Two blasts does the trick. That's fine, I guess. There, I think that's the entrance. Fucking entrance to what? What are we even doing here? Did it even say? Did I miss it? I didn't even realize this was the whole point was to like... God damn it. Turn this way. There we go. I thought the whole point was to go find information on the Locust Queen and we didn't get... We walked away with fucking jack shit. And now all of a sudden we're up on the fucking mountain. God damn it. Okay. All right. Fucking stupid thing. Yeah, one second. moving around control Delta here we're entering Mount Kadar comp signals probably gonna go patchy soon Roger Delta keep me posted if you can we'll come Delta out well we'll see okay, about that what we're in. now what now we keep our eyes out for locust we're back on their home turf so shape up Ain't no sweat, baby, because I always like the way it gets. <laughs> Great. It's going to be real easy to shoot things now. Yo, somebody turn on the lights. Can't have no game without lights. Corp, sir, look out. At least it's not another freaky-ass worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if they have more of those fucking things? I'm guessing that's like some ancient slumbering creature or something that they discovered or whatever it was. And I can't imagine they have more of those things. And I say that and I'm going to turn the corner and there's going to be some big ass fucking worm. Oh, wonderful. I need more of this shit. I don't like this. This just looks like I'm supposed to spite some other big hey, ass creature. Are we there yet? I'm waiting for the surprise reveal that there's actually a second worm. We killed we killed Mama Worm and now there's gonna be fucking big daddy fucking giant ass rock worm. Well, not quite. That's just a brumac. The boost feature, 
I don't feel it's it's use whatsoever. Oh There. Lost power. No shit. No shit. <laughs> Oh no. Oh great, and here it comes. What is that? Okay, give it a try. Shoot it. Uh yep. Okay. It's not one big thing, it's three medium things. Mm-hmm. Again, what are we close to? What was the point of this? I did I I did I miss something? Well, what the fuck you want me to do, man? Oh, okay, I guess. I don't know. Only one way to go now. Are you crazy, Marcus? Oh shit! We're not gonna make it. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's do it again. Uh oh, I think Brad just pissed himself. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what are you doing? Hold up. It's fucking people down here. What the fuck? Oh, this is the guy from the first game. And you guys thought down here was safe? Nowhere is shut. Not anymore. We were fine here for a few months, as long as you stayed away from the roads and nexus. But now they're coming around where they didn't before. Kidnapping people, torturing them. Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. You got wax in your ears? Nexus is where all the locusts come from. Hey, old man. Can we get there from here? You have to cross the lake, but nobody does except Locust. Those waters ain't safe. Nowhere is, right? All right, Cole, Bear, I want you to take these people up to the surface. Dom and I will continue on foot. What? But they... They're gonna uh... die otherwise. You'll follow down in the grind lifts once we set off Jack's beacon. But we can't. Yeah. This is where he tells you he'll take it under advisement. Come <laughs> on, man, let's go. Old man, gather everyone and go with them. They'll take you to safety. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't mean we gotta fight in your army now, does it? I didn't say that. But you're not staying here. Wait, before you go. You ever seen this woman? Name's Maria. Oh, pretty. Something about her face does seem familiar. Maybe she was... With one of the other groups that came down before. Stu's group, I think. Uh, but Stu and them got captured. But the captured ones? The locusts have been taking them towards Nexus? Probably. Or the work camps along the way. How do we find them? 
When you get to the highway, near the dam, there's a path that'll take you there. Thanks, old man. Don't know what good it does you. You ain't getting in there unless you're a locust. Hey, Marcus. What if the beacon doesn't work? Then we'll see Jacinto down here. Huh. Control, Delta here. Cole and Baird are heading to the surface with survivors for evac. Roger that, Delta. What about you and Dom? We're heading in deeper to the Nexus stronghold. We think we found the path. Copy that. We have grind lift reinforcements awaiting your signal. Thanks, Control. Delta out. So that was kind of a lot thrown at us. Um... Maria better not be down here. Everything's gonna work out. I right. wanted to yeah. I, take a pause, so. but it seems like there's only one more little section left, so I think I'll um, stick it out. So this will be a little bit over than an hour. Um, God damn it, I'm stuck on the rocks. Um, yeah, this will be a little bit over than an hour. Um, I'm okay with that because I want more answers. Uh, I need to know why we're down here. I it's something about Jack's beacon and like reinforce so like we're gonna like set up a beacon at Nexus and then call down the reinforcements. I, I think this might be just continuing like the war thing from um kind of the first section, like the whole point. I don't know if this is the whole point of it or if we're improvising because we learned to come here because of the secret facility or i i don't know if this was part of the whole plan originally um oh okay so once again i have no regard for my safety regarding the theron guards because they suck ass okay good nice to know that didn't change um i don't know and then there's there's like people down here they think that this is better than the surface for some reason I don't know where they got that impression, but okay. Wonderful. They got boats? Worse, gunboats. God damn it. I keep getting stuck on these rocks. Oop. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to... There we go. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, It feels like it's... I I have to think that I missed something. I, I do. I must have missed something. I feel like we got here. We arrived here so, like, abruptly. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... Uh, this feels so just out of left field i was expecting more from the facility in terms of like information okay sorry game crashed anyways all that we really learned from that was that they were doing some kind of i don't know some kind of secret project up in or in the facility and then we arrived at the mountains um, I don't know if we were looking for more answers based off of their secret projects and we just stumbled across this or like, again, like if this was the intention all along to come up to this place and then activate this beacon to continue the war efforts or what's going on exactly. Um, it kind of just seems like a clusterfuck though. So may I gotta, I gotta... I gotta look into it and see if I missed something, because I have no fucking clue. I don't know. All I can sense from this is that our goal is now to activate this beacon in... Nexus. Whatever that's supposed to be. The... The Locust... Stronghold or whatever. Okay. I... I guess it makes sense in the... In... Again, in the grander... Uh... Sense of the war. Right? The whole point of taking it to the home turf, so to speak. Um, and, and launching this assault is fine. 
like I have no problems with that. But what was the fucking point in the last hour of gameplay if that's what the intention was? That's what this confuses me. Like, I, I just... What was the whole point in going up to the fucking secret facility to learn about the Locust Queen and then we didn't learn fucking anything about it anyway? Like, why bother? Why not just get right to this shit? I don't understand. Oops, I'm fucking cooking here. I don't know. I wish I could say that there was something compelling about it in terms of either story or gameplay. Like I said, at, at that at that facility. But honestly, there just wasn't. There wasn't anything that stood out in terms of gameplay. I thought the weather mechanic, they, they were trying something there and then it just was like, it didn't really go anywhere or do anything. I didn't feel its impact whatsoever, right? And then the story implications of it are fucking non-existent. We didn't learn anything other than Let's just go up to the mountain, but I, I I don't know if that was our original plan. I don't know if that was like something we learned at the facility and that was the pretense of being there. Again, maybe I missed something. I, I don't think so, but I, I don't know. If anything, frankly, this is more fun being back down here, which is not really what I expected. At least it's a little bit more open combat. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? I gave him the smackdown with that shit. Walk and aim down sights. Oh, that boat's not getting us anywhere. Look out! Hold on! Uh, yeah. Really? Okay, we're riding the fucking dock, I guess. Is that person alive? Maybe? I can see blood coming out. Huh? 
Yeah, I don't suppose you have a fucking paddle, huh? I don't... Mm, I assume that's like the driver, but then like you can't take it out? Or what? Okay. I, I, surely this would just capsize immediately, right? They just drop I can't imagine that this would, you know what I mean, stay afloat at all. That or that we wouldn't fall else. off. Keep your eyes open. Hey, wait, what happens if we breathe in this shit? Too late now. I mean, it's, what? I don't know, looks cool, but nothing good. We need to get off this thing, man. You're preaching to the choir. That God most um. A little, uh, a little... Oh, we're just going for it. You know, I didn't think that this would be a problem. Um, I don't... I don't like... Open water or giant sea creatures. I really don't. Uh, kind of scary. Um, so, I, I don't know what that was, but, um, yeah. Watch your left. Well, this is not the place to have a fucking shotgun. Or a sniper rifle. I'm not making a fucking shot with this at all. You have something a little bit more... Why, not, why am I... I'm like getting stuck on fucking cover and stuff. More on your left. Oh, wait. Here. Get, me, get out of the way. Let me get on this thing. Nice fucking driving. Idiot. Oh, wait. No one's driving. That's right. What? I thought they were like turbines or something. There's like an actual creature like pulling this thing. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Wonderful. I mean, it's definitely different. It doesn't... Oh, no. 
There's no fucking way you'd be able to hang it. There's no way. There's no way. I ever tell you how much I hate the water. <laughs> You don't fucking don't say. It. Yeah, but it's down there. God damn it. Where is it? I don't know, but it's definitely not going away. To the left. Oh, what the oh, fuck is this? Well, that's why it gave me the fucking Lancer. Uh... Yeah. Oh, we're actually fighting the Kraken. Okay, giant worms. Giant Krakens. Cool. Not really. What, what, what won't they come up with? What's next? Fucker. God damn it! How do we kill this thing? Let the worm from the inside. Okay, you want to dive into the water? Get inside its mouth. Really? Oh, this is exactly the place that I want to fucking be. Well, look at the choppers on that fucking thing. Okay, but it's not showing up as red. At least it gives me a reason to have like 16 fucking grenades there. I was like, okay, it's not showing red. I can't fucking snipe it. Why not? I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to aim in with this shit though. Okay, did that not work?
Okay. Or is it just a certain amount of damage? Oh, God damn it. Well, maybe I should have... I don't know. Like, if I had, like, a boom shot or something... Maybe you just have to hit it enough. So I should... The only thing with shooting it is that it's not showing up red like these things are. So if it wanted me to do a certain amount of damage, wouldn't I just need to pump it full of lead? But that's not... God damn it, I don't have any more grenades. Here, let me pick up one of the 15 fucking piles in the back. Okay, that didn't work. Um, yeah. Like, is it not what it wants me to do? I, I got... Well, I had... There was a pile of fucking grenades there. I assume that's what it wants me to do when it gives me eight piles of grenades. It worked the one time. Oh shit, I don't even have the fucking thing anymore. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so I've just... You do have to use the grenades. You just have to land it very, very specifically. Ah. That's not... I wish Dom would have said something like, Try a grenade! Okay, now that I understand this... And fucking take it down. Cat. This is better, at least in the sense that I understand, well, now I understand the boss's pattern, um, which is more than I can say for some other things. I've ever caught. <laughs> Shut up, you didn't do a goddamn just thing. Out of the goddamn water. Okay, well I said I would only play for one more little section and then that ended up being kind of a mess. But nonetheless, that's where we're gonna leave it for this one. Okay. Um I am... I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, I don't think that this section was as good as the last two. I don't think that our... our motivations were very clear. Um... Once I understood how to do the boss fight, it was easier. Um, the atmosphere of it was okay up until I was kind of getting frustrated with, like, how to beat it it took me a couple of, t of attempts um yeah i don't know this uh this doesn't stand out very well in terms of gameplay it was okay i guess um 
but I didn't feel that it was expanding upon it in the way that I hoped it would. And I would say um, the same is is not just equally true, but more so in terms of the story. I have to believe that I that I missed something in the conversation with like Marcus and Dom and Niles or something because like I thought we were going there for one reason and then they didn't do anything with it and then all of a sudden we're in this other place and I don't think that it explained why very well and I don't know to me that's just that's a little bit disappointing for a story that has otherwise been very very good um exceptionally better than gears one was in terms of fleshing things out and then to kind of get to this point where it feels like it's rushing things through like it's like okay we got to get to this place we need these things to happen i don't know why this section even existed in terms of like for story purposes i don't understand it whatsoever they either could have done it like the way that they seemed like they said they were going to do which was information about the locust queen um or not done it at all and honestly just skipped it and just said okay we killed the giant worm and now we're going back underground to continue the war effort and we're going to plant this beacon and we're going to assault the locust nexus i would have been perfectly okay with that honestly that i to me this was more jarring than anything else like taking us out of the underground section just to throw us back in but having this this long pause between that by having us go to this secret facility just didn't really do anything for me um i don't know i i don't really know what else to say about it it's kind of just like i don't want to say filler sounds demeaning um i'm sure there's they had their reasons but yeah i don't know honestly i think i would have preferred if they just stuck to you know stuck to the kind of the war the war effort you know telling of the story and just said okay we're gonna leave out this this government secrets bullshit like i i don't know it just didn't do anything for me maybe i missed something i i, I have to imagine i did because otherwise I, I cannot, I, I don't know how to justify the last hour and a half in terms of at least story. And and then for gameplay as well, like it wasn't bad. Um, they tried some interesting things with like the security system and the weather system. Like, I don't know. It just, it was different, but it wasn't like shocking to me. I wasn't like, oh my God, I can't believe they did this. Like they did with the worm, which was why that was so interesting and why I, I felt the need to comment on it in such a way because it was like that was different in terms of like the direction the story went it was interesting for gameplay it was a fascinating setting and then to go from that to what they did might as well have just fucking skipped it and went right to the right to the sea creature fight because it was like it's it's the same goddamn thing in my mind i don't know i just i don't understand it um, I hope that it, I hope that it picks back up at least. Um, I think now that we're kind of getting back to the actual, like the war part of the story, rather than whatever the fuck was going on with that other stuff, that it will kind of continue down on, on a better path. Like I said, for me, you know, based off of the first two parts, kind of, that's the sense that I get that they wanted to go in terms of. The direction of the story and i thought it was very good so hopefully we kind of get back on track to that and uh yeah i don't know what to say about this part guys it's just it's just i don't know i guess i'll call it filler because i don't know what else to call it, it wasn't bad but it wasn't good either it was just kind of more more things to do in the game but without a lot without without purpose to it without like meaning or exceptionally fun gameplay elements like i can't even comment on that that's what that's what's irksome about it if they did something really fun in terms of the gameplay i would be more i don't know accepting of this part of this like this section but they just didn't so i don't know but I, that's where we're gonna leave it i don't really know what else to say about it um 
like I said, hopefully we get into something a little bit more enticing, um, in terms of the story, at least, uh, kind of get back on track with that. But that's all I got for this part, guys. Thanks for watching.